Congratulations, John. You just announced an MOU with Norfalco, which of course is a division of Glencore. Where do we start? Yeah, so it's a very important uh, announcement for the company today because uh, Norfalco, the division of Glencore, has access to sulfuric acid, which is very important in the production of purified phosphoric acid. So it's one of the larger, more important missing elements in our ability to actually create purified phosphoric acid at the port of Saguenay purified phosphoric acid being the precursor for lithium iron phosphate battery. So back some of the investors out there new to first phosphate going, who is this company and, and what's going on here? Tell us more about your industrial facilities in Quebec and how this actually plays together. Yeah, so first phosphate is a company that's dedicated to purifying phosphate for the production of lithium iron phosphate, LFP battery in North America. That we will be, uh, you know, bringing our facilities online here in the coming years, and one of the important parts of that is to create purified phosphoric acid, which is the precursor for LFP battery. And in order to do that, you need, you know, igneous phosphate rock, which comes from our mines eventually, and also sulfuric acid. <clears throat> so the sulfuric acid component being very important, it's you know, 1.2 times the amount of igne igneous rock is the amount of sulfuric acid that is needed in the process. So very important and uh, component not to be overlooked. I'm not surprised by this news because we've you've had a series of news releases about some exceptional new members to your team. Would you like to talk about that? Yeah, so uh, recently having joined our team was uh, Isabel Sheldon, o OBE. She's been knighted by the Queen for her contributions to the battery uh, industry in uh, the United Kingdom. And we also had um, Armand McKenzie join the board, who, who's an, um, an Indigenous uh, leader and also a lawyer who has very uh, deep uh, experience in the mining industry. Well, I was very interested with both of your announcements. I want to congratulate you for that. And you also announced a environmentally friendly phosphate concentration pilot plant. So that's an interview onto itself. Would you like to tell us more about that? Yeah, so one of the, the bigger challenges of you know many companies in the industrial minerals is to be able to actually um, you know, process the minerals that they extract from the ground. And a lot of companies uh, uh, attempt this kind of work too late in the, in, the, in the process once they've spent a lot of money in the ground. And maybe if they're having challenges at that point, it, it's too late. So we wanted to move very quickly. We've moved to our pilot plant uh, very quickly in our process. And we've been able to prove that we can uh, recover 91.4% of the appetite being the host mineral for phosphate. Um, in, our, in our pilot plant, we're able to make secondary recoveries, which are, are saleable as well, of ilmenite, which is titanium, magnetite, which is iron. And, uh, you know, we're able to get to a, an appetite that is, uh, you know, 97% pure. That's uh, a phosphate that's almost 41% pure, which is, you know, the, the world's highest uh, form uh, of cleanliness of, of phosphate that has ever been seen out there. And we've recently now used that to create a 900 kilogram sample of phosphate, which has been sent to our partner Preon in Belgium, the world's largest producer of purified phosphoric acid, to run testing and to produce uh, purified phosphoric acid from those samples. So once that's complete, we know that we are able to get from mine all the way to purified phosphoric acid. The next step will obviously be to get to LFP cathode active material, but that should be relatively easier once we know that the phosphate is, is, is clear, clean, and, and, and acceptable. And you know, with today's announcement with with, with Glencourt and uh, their their division of uh, Norfalco, the sulfuric acid is what allows us to to then make the purified phosphoric acid. So we tie the loop in very very closely and cleverly with with Preon and uh, with Norfalco today to be able to actually produce the, the purified phosphoric acid for the LFP battery. You're always moving faster than most companies on the planet, John. I've talked to you about this before. So what should we as shareholders anticipate, say, in the next quarter? So right now, what we're moving into finalizing the preliminary economic assessment at our uh, flagship property, which is La Calorin Yale. Um, that was expected out by Q4 of this year. We're hoping to get that you know, a lot earlier. Um, we also hope to uh, begin uh, drilling in the uh, winter again at Beijing La Marche, which is our, our, our new uh, discovery uh, property, which has shown some exceptional results and at only 75 kilometers from the deep sea port of Saguenay. So we're really excited to get Beijing La Marche, um, you know, a little bit more uh, in, in discovered and into 43101 and into PEA as well. And uh, we're continuing to work on some of our, you know, secondary recoveries, which are the ilmenite and the magnetite. 
to be able to make yet another component um, that is important in, in, in LFP battery, which is the iron source. We believe we can use those two commodities to create the iron source necessary for the LFP battery production, which will then put us in a position where the only thing that else that will be needed at the port of Saguenay is lithium to make LFP battery so that we will have all the in situ wet materials at the port of Saguenay to make LFP battery and to establish the, LF, uh, the, the, the port of Saguenay and the Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean region of Quebec as the LFP battery valley of North America in, in ex, an ambitious goal, but I think a very realizable one. And for those of you interested in more information, please go to the First Phosphate website down below. And as always, John, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Tracy.